Hey, hello, welcome friends. So in this video, I am going to talk about FTP adapters in OIC. So in previous video, I have explained you how you can create FTP adapters connection and what kind of credentials required to create FTP adapter connection. So in this video, I will deeply explain you what is FTP adapter, how to use FTP adapter and what kind of operation you can perform using the FTP connection. So here we are saying that FTP adapter or connection. So where in integration, we have to use connection, right? And while creating the connection, we need to use adapter. So we will create FTP connection with the help of FTP adapter. So in the complete explanation, I can use FTP adapter or connection that all will be the considered as same here. So let's continue. So in first slide here, you can see this is the basic explanation of FTP adapter. So why we are using FTP adapter to create a connection which can be helpful to connect with the SFTP or FTP server. So in previous video, I have explained you while creating the FTP connection, it's asked that what is the type of this connection that is SFTP or FTP. So this FTP adapter can be useful to connect with SFTP or FTP both server. And when we are using FTP connection, it means that we are accessing, we are accessing the server. We are accessing the file server. So that can be FTP or SFTP anywhere. We can perform operations like reading the data file from the SFTP server or we can perform the operation something like that, moving the file which is available over the SFTP server from one directory to another directory only on SFTP or FTP. Even we can delete the file present in FTP server with the help of FTP connection. And yeah, of course, we can read the file data file available over FTP server into the OIC logical directory. While reading the data file or we will while writing the file over SFTP server, we can use encrypt and decrypt also. So OIC, OIC FTP connection give us facilities to use encryption and description by the help of PJP encryption or decryption. So let's first discuss about the what kind of operations available on FTP connection. So there are six types of operations available on FTP connection. You can perform six operations on FTP. The first is read a file, write a file, list a file, and move a file from uh, one directory to another directory on the FTP or SFTP server. Read a file from SFTP server, or even you can download the file from SFTP server to OIC local directory. So the point one, read a file and the download a file, both are using for the same purpose. Both are using for reading the data from SFTP server to the OIC local directory. But there are minor differences between both. So we'll explain you next slide. So first is that read a file. So it's clearly with its name, read a file. So with the help of this read a file operation, we can read a single file from source directory source directory is means it means that sftp directory to the oic logical directory then after we can perform other operation whatever operation we require as a business requirement so when we use a read file operation it allow us to download a file from sftp server to oic local directory with the 50 mb size only when we provide the structure suppose we are reading a csv file right so we are providing the structure csv while reading a file so it's mandatory that our file should be less than 50 mb and suppose while reading a file from sftp server we are not providing any file structure then up to we can up to download a file from the sftp server to local oic directory up to 1 gb files and now next is that write a file so write a file operation we are using when we have to create a file over sftp server or we have already a file on oic logical directory we have generated a file with the, the logic and we have to write the same file over sftp server then at the time we use write a file operation and here also if we use a write a file operation and we are not providing the any schema it means that we can write file over sftp server up to 1 gb and when we are providing the schema something like that csv or any xml we can write a file up to 50 mb only and obviously we can use decryption while writing the file over sftp server encryption and decryption 
and next we have list file so this list file is same as ls command we are using in linux so why we are using ls command so suppose we are navigating to any directory and there in the directory we want to see how many files are there in that directory so we use ls command so the same list file is working like that so when we use list file we have to provide the directory from where we have to list the file and the pattern file pattern so file pattern something like that we have many for files over sftp server many files like we have files like uh invoice files right ap underscore inv 001 ap underscore inv 002 ap underscore inv 003 we have multiple files with the naming conventions starting from ap underscore inv and we have to list all the files so we provide the naming convention at ap underscore star dot csv so what it will do whatever file is starting from ap underscore inv and ending with the csv file structure it will list all the file and this list file operation is helpful while reading the multiple file from server so as i told you in the previous slide read a file is only useful for reading a single file and suppose sometimes we have requirement to read multiple files so in this case we are using list file operation first to list down all the file all the mention file whatever we require based on the structure we provided over the sftp, SFTP server so with the help of list file we have all the names of the file and then we use write read operation to read a file one by one from the sftp server and yeah next we have move a file so move a file operation is helpful to move a file from one directory to another directory over sftp only you can't use move a file over the operation over the file which is available in uic allows integral directory so ftp connection is only useful to work with the file available over the server so here we have to move the file suppose uh, there is one source directory from where we are reading the file we are consuming the file into oracle and now it's time to archive the file over sftp only then we use move move a file operation in that case and now we have the delete operation delete a file so delete is delete a file is also same as the move the file but move a file is moving file from one server to another server but delete a file is deleting the file from the particular directory over the sftp server only and now in last we have download a file so as i told you earlier write read a file is used to read a file up to 50 mb when we provide the file structure suppose like csv but delete of download a file can be helpful to read a file from sfe server up to 1 gb of size even you provided the file structure so there are basic definition basic differences between read a file and download a file so you can read a file up to only 50 mb if you are providing the structure and you can read a file up to 1 GB of size if you are providing a structure with the help of that download a file operation. So let me show you the basic of this connection. So here I have added that FTP connection in my integration. So when I will edit, you can see all the operation listed here. Here you can see that select operation, and here you have to select all the operation from the below above mentioned. You can select a reader file. So once you will select a reader file, it will ask you the directory from where you have to read the file and the file name. What will be the file name? You can provide same in the mapping also. And here we have write a file. So write a file, it means that we are writing the file over SFTP server. So here you have to mention the directory from where you have to write the file. This is the SFTP directory and this is the file name convention what kind of file name you are going to provide while writing the server file over server you cannot provide this mapping this write a file operation in mapping and here obvious uh, while writing you can perform encryption and decryption also and yeah if we have the list file you can see that when we select the list operation we have to provide the directory from where we have to list the file and the file pattern what kind of pattern we have to follow suppose here in example you can see the mention start.csv it means that whatever file 
is available over sf2p server with the .txt extension it will list all the file you can provide a star.csv suppose i have to read all the file present over the server with the naming starting from ap underscore inv and in last word where can be date format or 01 to something like that so i will provide a star dot csv so it will read all the file available over sf2p server with the name or starting as ap underscore inv and ending with the csv we can also fix the size fix the number of file listed and now we have the move operation so i just told you move operation you used to move a file from one directory to another directory over sf2p server only so here you have to provide the directory path from where we have to move and this is the target directory where you have to move the file so this is the source directory and this is the destination directory and also you can provide the file name the same the four things you can provide in the mapping also and here we have delete a file it is same as it will ask you the path from where you have to delete the file and it will ask you the file name it will delete that file the file name from the particular directory whatever you provide and here we have download a file so this download a file is helpful while reading the file more which have size more than 50 mb over the server over the sftp server or ftp server anywhere so you can provide some basic details over mapping also so thank you so much for watching if you like this video helpful don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you so much